Welcome Taurus to your weekly reading. This is for the 23rd to the 30th of September. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this week. Taurus, I'm going to start off by looking at the first row as the possible energy beginning the week. The second row is going to be the area you should focus on. The third row are your possible challenges, if any. The fourth row are messages and advice from spirit. And finally, our fifth row is the possible outcome of the week. Taurus, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. I'm going to start off over here with Page of Pentacles, and we're looking at the possible energy beginning the week. And I will just get your clarifier. So we want to see now what the Page of Pentacles is for Taurus, please. The Fool. Taurus, this is a lovely energy beginning the week. What we are seeing here, my dear Taurus, with the fool is that you're ready to try something new. It could be the smallest thing or the biggest thing, but you want to bring new energy, new people and new experiences into your life. So it could be the energy of joining the local gym or yoga school. Maybe you want to join a sports group or learn a new sport. It could be that you now decided you want to try something completely new and different. Or maybe you wanted to learn something new, something that you've always been interested in, and you decided to sign up for a new course. With Page of Pentacles sitting on top of our full, my dear Taurus, we are being told that this is a wonderful thing for you to do. It's always wonderful to expand our horizons in any way. And as you can see, we've got that little rabbit there in the background, leaping across the field. It's going to be a very auspicious and lucky thing for you now to get out of your comfort zone and expose yourself to something new. And with Page of Pentacles, we're being told that this is something that will grow steadily and you're going to get more and more involved and enjoy it as time goes on. So it's a very nice, exciting energy we see for you, my dear Taurus, at the beginning of the week. Let us move on now and see what the Empress is all about that is sitting in the area you should focus on. So we want to see now what the Empress is for Taurus, please. The Knight of Cups. This is very interesting, my dear Taurus, and very exciting. Because what I am seeing here is that this week, somebody is coming in, my dear Taurus, with an offer, a gift, advice or a suggestion, but it has incredible potential. Because whatever they are coming forward with is allowing you to experience the Empress energy. And Taurus, as you can see, this is a wonderful place to be. The Empress is about being engulfed and surrounded with the energy of abundance and prosperity as her cornucopia flows over. So my dear Taurus, as you can imagine, this is going to be so different for everybody. It could be your boss offering you a promotion and an increase. It could be your significant other coming in saying, Taurus, time for us to upgrade. Let's move to a bigger home in a better neighborhood. This could be a very good friend coming in, inviting you to go on a vacation with them. Perhaps they have come into some kind of money or they just want to treat you or just because they love you. This is very positive energy and you're being asked to focus on it because whatever this offer is for you, my dear Taurus, it's going to be so good for you. And most of all, it's going to make you feel wonderful. So whatever this is, please focus on this offer this week. Now let us move on and see what Four of Swords is all about that is sitting in your possible challenges. 
so we want to see now what four of swords is and you have got five of cups now taurus this is an interesting message and it's not going to resonate with everybody but what i'm being told here is that there might be some of my tauruses who might be in our five of cups energy and you know my dear taurus five of cups is the energy of crying over spilt milk it's the energy of regret remorse disappointment and hurt and taurus this could be energy you've been carrying for a long time you know it's not unusual my dear taurus for us to start reminiscing about things that happened years ago you know why didn't i study that degree why didn't i take that job when it was offered to me why didn't i relocate to that country when i had the energy and the courage so this energy sometimes just comes up and it could be a challenge for some of my Tauruses because what happens is that when we get into this energy, it immediately lowers our vibration and it unfortunately takes our eye off our two cups, which is representing what is going for us now as we focus on all the spilt milk that has happened in our life. So, my dear Taurus, you are being advised if you find yourself going into five of cups energy and remember this is completely natural and be kind and gentle to yourself because it happens to everybody but the trick this week is to give yourself time just to be my dear Taurus to relax contemplate and think it through it's like catching yourself doing it and then pulling back and go right okay it's happened and you know you might want to just think about things what happened how it happened then my dear taurus put things into perspective and move on to what your heart is calling to now that heart at the window is what these two cups represent and these two cups could very well be what our knight of cups is coming in with so we don't want you to lose any of this incredible energy coming towards you if this resonates with you the advice here is to just be still with it not to let it pull you into this energy of darkness where it might lower your vibration but to take time and think it through and then at the same time as you're doing that my dear taurus make a conscious effort to listen to what your heart is saying what does your heart want now do you want to meet new people do you want to go away for a few days do you want to host a dinner party and have all your friends over start thinking of what your heart is telling you to do this is going to enable you my dear taurus to shift gently out of our five of cups energy and focus on the here and now and of course then this energy will come in and take over so if this resonates with you my dear taurus and this is a gentle message asking you to focus on what your heart is calling out to that will give you the motivation and the direction to focus on all the good and possible that is in your life and about to come in very strong message coming through for some of my tauruses now let us see what six of cups is all about that is sitting in messages and advice from spirit so we want to see now what six of cups is for taurus please and you have got seven of wands taurus you have such an interesting message coming through spirit wants you to know my dear taurus that what is happening here and especially with our knight of cups offer coming through it is a gift from spirit spirit wants you to have this it's time for you to receive something wonderful from the universe 
It's just because Spirit wants you to know you are seen and you are loved and you're protected. This is a time, my dear Taurus, just to be you. You don't have to prove anything. You don't have to do anything. You are being rewarded this week with whatever this is for you, just because you are you. Now, my dear Taurus, with Seven of Wands coming in here, Spirit doesn't want you to second guess and question it. You know, sometimes, Taurus, something lovely appears for us. And then we are inclined to start thinking of all the negative possibilities. Nothing has happened yet, but we preempt it. Why is my boss giving me this relocation? Maybe they don't like me anymore and they don't want to see me every day. Why is my friend offering to take me on vacation? What do they want from me? Perhaps they want something from me that I'm not going to be able to give. Why is my significant other being so romantic and generous to me? What are they hiding? You know how sometimes we are inclined to do this. So Spirit is saying, No, my dear Taurus, this is not a time to second guess whatever this gift or offer is for you. It is endorsed by Spirit. It is something that is meant for you. It is something for you to acknowledge and to accept and to enjoy. Very interesting message coming through, Taurus. Now let us see what Ace of Wands is all about for you that is sitting in the possible outcome of the week. So we just want to see now what Ace of Wands is for Taurus, please. And you have Six of Swords. Wow, what a wonderful way to end the week, my dear Taurus. Taurus, at the end of the week, we've got the beautiful energy of the Ace of Wands, Hand of God, coming in, giving you the Wand of Infinite Possibility. This Wand is very connected to our Six of Cups and our Knight of Cups energy, something that is being given to you. Once again, we see that it is blessed and it is given to you by the Hand of God. It is now up to you to accept the wand and take it and make something of it, not to question it, not to doubt it, and not to second guess it. What I love to see for you, my dear Taurus, is Six of Swords, because Six of Swords tells me that you are going to move on from any negative energy, and this is especially speaking to us of the Five of Cups and Seven of Wands energies, the energy of remorse and regret, the energy of second-guessing all good things that are coming to us. You accept and acknowledge that it is your time for good things to happen in your life, and you leave all that energy behind, and you move on, my dear Taurus, to what this is now opening up and representing to you. Very nice to see Taurus. Right, let us go ahead now and get a message from your angels for the week. So we just want to see now what Taurus's angels would like to share with them, please. And look at that, my dear Taurus. Your angels have just confirmed that you are ready. You are ready to accept the Knight of Cups, the gift that is coming in from Spirit. And you are ready to encompass and accept all this energy of possibility, abundance and blessed prosperity. You're ready, my dear Taurus. Don't even think about it. Just say yes. So, that is all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful week and I am sending you all so much love.